Rose Grabbing with Team Forest. I'd like to teach you a little bit about the MOS. Once you give me your search criteria and your price point, how many bedrooms, single story, two story, I set you up directly on the MOS. Once you get those listings, you can either heart them, move them to trash, or put a question mark on them. I will see those hearts. From that list, I will map them out and make the appointments. Once we've narrowed out a few properties, I will meet you directly at the first property. So once we get to that first property, I will bring color copy and a map for you and tell you a little bit more information. So let's get to house hunting. Hi, I'm Daniel with Team Force Realty Group. Just wanted to give you a, a couple tips on looking at buying a new home. Um, with the internet nowadays, you're gonna have a lot of homes to look at. You're gonna have millions of pictures, millions of homes that you're gonna look at, more so than you did 10 years ago. Um, so when you're looking at that many homes, you wanna keep in mind the parameters of what you're, in, you're looking at in a home. So things like, um, if you're looking for a safe street, you know, for your children, if you want a cul-de-sac, um, keep in mind things that you cannot change in a home. When you, when you move into a home, you can look at a, at a kitchen, something like this, if you, if you wanted a double oven, if the fridge isn't where you wanted it. Um, those are all things you can change. What you can't change is your view. Um, you, if you wanted privacy, if you want a private backyard, you can't add those things to any home. So when you, when you walk into a home, also trust your intuition. So, you, you know, you walk into a home and sometimes they, it just doesn't feel right. Sometimes you can't explain why it doesn't feel good. Um, what you want to look for when you're looking into getting a home, you want that home that as soon as you walk in, you walk in and go, wow, th this is it. This feels good. That's what you're looking for as a buyer. Uh, just keep in mind when, you know, try and trust your, your realtor with sending you some, some properties. A lot of what you'll be looking at online, you can't trust. You can't, you know, with you have all the websites nowadays like Zillow, Realtor.com, and a lot of those have listings that will be, oh my God, this is a wonderful home for only $2.99. It's everything we've ever dreamed of. If it seems too good to be true, it could be a fake listing, which we run into problems a lot. So trust your intuition, trust your realtor, and please give us a call if you need any help. Hi, I'm Ashley with Team Force. In today's market, buyers want what every other buyer wants. A big open floor plan, kitchen with granite, and a beautiful yard. Chances are when you see that perfect home, another buyer has said the same thing. So come prepared with your pre-approval letter in hand and deposit funds in the bank. On house hunting day, eat a good breakfast, bring some snacks and water, especially if you have little ones coming along with you and plan for a productive day. Communication is a huge key part of the agent buyer relationship working. So if we have time to engage and learn a little bit more of what you're looking for, we can keep an eye on the market for you. We love kids and dogs. However, if we want to have a fully engaged, productive day, our suggestion is if you can make arrangements for them to stay at home and have fun with friends, just let them stay home on our first outing. If we find that perfect home, let them come back and let's pick their rooms together. If kids come along, that's great. We love that too. Just plan for a little bit longer day, bring a little more reinforcements and we'll be good to go. So we'll see you soon. Hi, my name is Ryan with Team Force. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the financing aspect of purchasing a home. First things first, it's always best for you to be proactive as far as getting a pre-approval from a lender because no seller will consider an offer without that pre-approval attached. Here are a few do's and don'ts regarding your pre-approval process and escrow process. First thing is keep all money stable. Do not move large sums of money around 60 days prior to your approval process nor throughout your escrow process. Number two, keep paying your bills on time. One 30 day late can dramatically affect your approval process and dramatically affect your interest rate to a higher rate. Number three, when in doubt, ask your lender or ask your realtor. Number four, don't buy anything big in the approval process or during your escrow period. No boats, no cars, no furniture, no other expensive toys you may want. Number five, finally, know your price point and stick to it. You're gonna to need to know your HOA and property taxes on each property, which we can help you with. Feel free to reach out to our preferred lenders or team force with any questions you may have.